Tally and this is 26 Seagrange Road in Baldoyle. So just to give you an idea of where you are, we're literally just off Grange Abbey here to my left. At the end of the road there's a gorgeous park, we're walking distance from the Dart, we're right beside the sea as you can see from all the gorgeous seagulls and it's a beautiful morning. So just to give you an idea, we have a three bed house here with a huge side garden. So the potential is absolutely enormous. You can either double front to the side of the house or take down the porch that you can see here behind me that was built and, and build another house to the side, making this a terrace. The, the location, the potential, everything here is absolutely amazing and it's on market for only 350,000. So just to explain this area here, this is actually communal parking space. Uh, it doesn't actually belong primarily just to the people that own this house but as you can see from the other houses along the stretch they've actually put in driveways so this is predominantly used literally just by the people that own this property so come on in and we'll take a look so 26 c grange road let's go inside this would have originally been uh, the garden actually so this would have been the side of the house this is the chimney breast and the current owners, what they did was they built over it and made a wider hall because there wouldn't have actually really been a hall. You literally would walk up this step and through the front door straight into the living room. So as you can see, this is a really nice square space. Lots of light coming in from our east facing front. You have a gas fire. Um, stairs is off the living room and I'm not sure if this comes with the house or not, but you know, it could be a bit of fun after a few glasses of wine. And straight through into what would have originally been the kitchen. For a house of this age, this is actually a really big space for what would have been the kitchen. I think when they were when they were building houses like this, they used to make little galley kitchens. So I think this is would have been an absolutely fantastic kitchen space. But obviously, as the family grew, they wanted more. Uh, more space for themselves, more living space, so they made this a second living room, porch doors off into the garden, and then they built this kitchen extension. So this is super right. You've got windows on two sides and the back door leading you out into the garden. So we're southwest facing at the back. So this is a really, really good aspect and it's always going to be quite bright. But wait, you see this, this is unbelievable. This is the beauty of this house. It's not just about the location, it's about the potential. So if you come out here, I hope you can get a sense of this. There's a huge space here, all to the side, but also to the back. So we have three really, really big garages. We've got a huge workshop here. We've got another one, the a big one here, but it keeps going, it keeps going to the back. So we have loads and loads and loads of space here at the back also huge space to the side and if you come down here what I'm thinking is look at all of this and behind me is a garage as well if you took down all of these workshops and garages look at the amount of space that you have and take this out which is the porch that we just came through if you took this out you could build another property onto the side here or double front the house that you have and it'd be absolutely huge. This is an incredibly, uh, incre incredible house with tons and tons and tons of potential. So we're coming up the carpeted stairs to show you the bedrooms. So only one out of the three bedrooms has carpet. Everything else, including the landing, has laminate floor apart from the bathroom, which is tiled. So come on through to the main bedroom. This bedroom is the largest of the three and has fitted wardrobes on both sides. And it's to the front of the house. We're gonna go through to bedroom number two, which is the only single. Just to note, this is actually a purpose-built hot press on, on the landing. And bedroom number two is to the side. That's a carpeted single bedroom. Your third bed is a small double to the back of the house. So a nice bright room in the evening with your southwest west facing sun. And a nicely tiled bathroom finishes off the accommodation upstairs. This is obviously adapted. The, the, the power shower or the electric shower has been adapted, but quite easy to take out. But nice little bathroom. 
All right, so that's it for upstairs in 26C Grange Road. So just to give you a brief summary, this is 26 Seagrange Road. We are 100 square meters. We're on market for 350,000. We have a B or F. Uh, this is all about location and all about potential. Uh, for more information, go to knproperty.ie.